is the formation Chelsea are playing causing them to struggle under Mauricio Pochettino? It's hard to absolutely say whether Chelsea's momentum arrangement is exclusively liable for their battles under Pochettino, as there are numerous variables that could contribute. Here is a breakdown of a portion of the focuses to consider. Arrangement Pochettino has principally used a 4-2-3-1 setup at Chelsea, which is like what he utilised in the Premier League when he was at Tottenham Hotspur. In any case, a few players probably won't be fit to these particular jobs or the group could miss the mark on fundamental equilibrium in midfield or attack. The 4-2-3-1 can be strategically adaptable, considering varieties in going after approach and squeezing force. In any case, in the event that not carried out properly, it can leave the group helpless against counter-attacks or individual battles to separate profound protections. Different Elements New Chief Change Any group going through an administrative change carves out opportunity to adjust to the new mentor's way of thinking and strategies. Pochettino's requesting style could require critical changes from players acquainted with various strategies. Player Quality and Profanity while Chelsea has a skilled crew, there may be holes in specific regions or an absence of profundity contrasted with their top opponents. This can be uncovered when injuries or knocks hit key players. Contest and installation blockage. The head association is famously cutthroat and Chelsea faces a clog scheduled with different teams approaching differently and uniquely. This can prompt exhaustion, pivot issues and trouble keeping up with consistency. Generally, while the development may be a contributing element, it's probable a misrepresentation to 44 Chelsea's battles exclusively. A blend of different components, including variation to another manager, a first in new squad, assumes itself as a big factor. To acquire a more far-reaching understanding, it could be useful to break down ambiguous matches and play ex exhibitions alongside Pochettino's strategic changes and group determination decisions. This would give a more nuanced image of the explanations for Chelsea's new challenges. It's, it's memorable it's vital that this season is as yet youthful and has the opportunity to carry out his thoughts and make something happen. Chelsea fans will trust that the group can track down its cannons and move up the table before very long. Obviously, it's not something easy to say if this is the root cause. These factors could perhaps be one of the reasons. Obviously, this isn't the mid-season and you know, if things could still change, Chelsea could finish higher up in the table. It's not too late for a change. However, it is something that I'm sure many fans will be concerned about and wondering why Chelsea are still struggling consistently and I know they would have had some good records in terms of winning games or being undefeated at home but they've struggled losing to Middlesbrough um, not being able to break down low blocks consistently struggling to score goals struggling to be able to find the back of the net it's really concerning and it is one that makes this discussion up for grabs and one that makes this discussion have life and a lot of energy. Cheers.